Hello, I'm Matt Guff from House.com, and this is a 2020 Arbor Foundation snowboard. The Arbor Foundation kind of blends into the background because of all the wood that you see up on the top sheet. This is a great all-mountain freestyle deck for beginner to intermediate level riders. It's so great that it actually resides in my top five best value boards of the 2020 season. It has won a house award. It's a new award system that we're doing here internally. This is a direction twin style board. When you ride the foundation, it's gonna feel like a twin rocker board because inside the contact points, the stance is centered and the side cut radiuses are centered. The only thing that makes it directional is that outside of the nose's contact point, the nose has a little bit of longer sweep and uh, a higher sweep as well. But that's about it. It's gonna feel like a twin board on a hard path, but when you take it into deeper snow, it'll feel more like a directional board, which is great. Now, it, as you see, it has a little bit of a teeter-totter here, and that's because of the parabolic rocker. Now, the biggest difference between what Arbor does and other brands do with their rocker profile shapes is that it's a little bit tighter in the center of the board in between your feet, and then gradually starts to mellow out. So it's not like a, a full continuous style rocker. And another great thing that Arbor does with the foundation to help you grip on firm snow with the combination of that parabolic rocker profile shape is that they add in grip tech, tech edges outside of your insert packs on both your heel side and your toe side edge. And what that does is allows for a quicker edge bite and hold when you start to create a little bit of tilt with your rocker shaped snowboard. Now the feel and flex rating of the foundation is going to be of quite a bit softer than your average deck. I'm sitting in right about a three, maybe three and a half or so. And that has a lot to do with what's inside. Now, this is an extremely lightweight snowboard. This is really, really light because of that Highland style wood core. And you can see it kind of through that top sheet. And of course, you can see it through the base. It's a combination of both poplar and uh, polonia style wood. Polonia, of course, being extremely lightweight. But to make the board pliable and easy to ride, uh, Arbor actually adds in what's called a Biax style fiberglass that runs at zero and 90 degrees. And that allows the board to be uh, manipulated quite easily torsionally with your feet. So if you want to get to one spot, it's easier just to kind of like do a little quick flick and get to where you want to go. It's not too torsionally rigid, but with that is that at high speeds, this can feel a little bit, it can feel a little bit loose, especially with that parabolic rocker profile shape, even though it does feature those grip tech edges. If you're riding ex at extremely fast speeds, this may not be the best board for you. There's really no additional laminates to the foundation, but there is a 360 wrap sidewall. Now, not very many brands are doing that. That means that the ABS material goes all the way around the border, all the way around the perimeter. And that's the same thing with that 360 rep uh, standard steel edge. It's actually recycled steel, which is actually pretty cool. The base is extruded and it has a nice little factory finish to it. It's been waxed up by Wen Wax Works. You really won't have to do much to this base throughout the season. They're very, very dense, low maintenance. Um, but uh, yeah, this is a great little board. You know, for a sub $400 category, it fits within the top five best value boards of the 2020 season, which is great. This is the foundation, an awesome deck. You check it out, thehouse.com by selecting the links below in the description. Leave me a comment or question. Let me know what you think of the deck. Subscribe to the channel there. Check out more vids there, and hopefully I'll see you guys on snow.